Mama, don't let your children grow up to be link cod. Cause we fun to drive a hook through the roof of their mouth. And fish tacos ain't really fish tacos without the fish. Oh, we, got, we got Cheetah on, here we go. And a boy! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! My life is almost broken! <laughs> Holy shit! What's going on, mostly boys and maybe a couple of girls? Got a trip report coming at you from the Central Coast, and more specifically, we're launching out of San Simeon in the hunt for Lincod. I'm gonna try a little different format. I think a lot of people just care about the fishing sequences, so I'm gonna stack those up front, and then if you care about the mechanics of the trip, the hows and whys, I'm gonna put that toward the back half and you can stick around for that. All right, look, if we're gonna catch big fish, we gotta get jacked up with some fake monster or Red Bull, right? This dog needs to start hunting, you know what I'm saying? Give him some too. All right, so this is Cheeto's setup. You know, Sweet Ride 2019 Outback. And he's got it decked out with the um, Lorenz. I think the 7Ti touchscreen. So this is, uh, I'm paddling with um, Cheeto. And Cheeto first came out with me in June. And this is like uh, late August, so he's like, he's on the fast track. He went from um, right down the beach and we're here in uh, Central Coast. And you know, I've mentioned this in previous videos, like you have to expect fog. Like we're probably a couple hundred yards, you know, from the launch and you can't see the launch no more, right? So um, we dropped the waypoint right at the beach at the launch. And then we're gonna drop another waypoint right here so that we have kind of like a virtual breadcrumb on how to get back in case the fog gets even worse and trust me <laughs> it can yeah so uh, fog a little bit of mist I mean just awesome conditions here is typical you know underwater topography for a central coast we're in like 25 feet of water but you know you can note there ain't nothing flat about central coast right so everything is bumpy there's structure everywhere these are probably a couple of fish over here, but um, we're, we're after like big fish. And so uh, I got a few marks over here and we're gonna go have a look-see, throw big swim baits. My approach is, you know, go after the biggest bleep in the bunch. And then if that don't work, then you downsize. So here's the thing about the Central Coast. Like every time you look down, there's something that looks good, right? So. You're just like completely overwhelmed. Like if I were at Redondo, like I would want to drop down on every one of these points. Um, but you got to be patient. Yeah, probably you know one of the toughest things out here is just navigating through the, uh, the kelp minefields. You know, just, again, you got to be careful not to get the uh, mirage drive or the uh, gutter hung up. Man, this is such a good feeling. I'm I'm so like jazzed to be out here. Um, Love doing stuff like this. So we got we got these guys here. Um, these are fish like mid column, and usually when you see fish mid column here, they're going to be aggressive. But these are little fish. But maybe we can pick up some live bait. They're like anywhere from like 30 to about 50 or something. Like. And then if it stops falling for no good reason, that's a fish. Like right around, the, right around there, you, sh you should be in them. Right there, and just start jigging right there. And then jig your way down. Yeah, so jig a few times. If you don't get bit, drop it like five feet. Jig it a few times. All right, we're gonna try to drop here. I mean, like tons of structure, tons of kelp. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we're dropping down in the mark. Sometimes these like marks in the middle of nowhere are like 
best performance because I guess there isn't much else around so the fish kind of caught me right? Oh my god, that's short even. Hang on to him, let's just float him off him. Okay, well that's, you know, that's a good start. It's a little shorty leg. Um, looks healthy, somehow blue. We're hoping to catch his uh, bigger brother. Crap, tell me if you've heard this before. My GoPro quit on me, so I don't have the footage, but there he is right there. That's a legit link. Say hello. Here we go. We got Cheeto on a big fish. Sucking a, a live bait on the bottom. That's a good bed right there. It's a good fish. Conditions are a little bit hairy, but man, why on fire? Yeah, just wind on him. No need to like pull up and stuff. Just wind on him. That's a ling, man. Just wind on him. So that was a big fish that was pulling Cheeto around. But unfortunately, it snaps the 30 pound leader. Yeah, these are some kind of hairball conditions. But, you know, you gotta expect stuff like this when you come to the central coast. Like, nothing's gonna be easy up here, typically, right? You're never gonna have like, a perfect day. Oh, we, got, we got Cheeto on, here we go. And a boy! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! My life is almost broken! <laughs> Holy shit! So right at this moment, just after he had gotten the fish on the boat, the leader snaps. Look at the size of the jack smelt that that leak swallowed. Oh my goodness. Okay, so as I mentioned, like Cheeto came out with me, I think first time like back in June. So like two, three months ago, he came out with me first time. And I knew he had potential because he was a curious guy. Like he was into his fish finder and, and uh, he was a hustler. So I, I knew. So yeah, that's how it works. Good for him. That's a routine fish. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. Wind picking up a little bit, but the fog is lifting. Beautiful day, awesome trip. So glad we come up here, you know, and the fish that's just icing on the cake, of course, right? So again, the kind of area, the kind of trip, and the kind of adventure where even if we caught no fish, I'd be like, I'd be all right, I'd be more than all right. 